E. Jim Brink. And it'll be the Cardinal basketball to begin. Greg Heister, Stephanie Hawk Freeman, A.J. Howell courtside for the tilt between the third-ranked Stanford Cardinal and the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Zag 7-2. Cardinal 8-0. First turnover. Zags take it away. Great start. Stanford really likes to clear out that middle and let their posts go to work. Gonzaga just harassing the ball handler, making it very difficult to get that ball inside for post touches. Okay, Lee Trung, here's Ejim, a long way from the bucket. She'll drive, step back, shot was short, Erie off in there defensively. Brink picks it up, back comes Stanford. The polo handoff, Brink, transition three, bingo, can't let her do it from there. No, 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 she is an excellent outside three-point shooter. Stanford one of two to begin, Gonzaga looking for their first field goal. They're 0 for 2, Brenna Maxwell. Hollingsworth. Okay, Lynn Trong, patient. Hollingsworth the catch. Ejim with the cut, bucket, 3-2. Great movement, maybe not the cleanest of offensive sets, but Gonzaga's players continue to move and find each other. But look at here, you can see the clear out. Too easy, there was no backside help there. Yeah, the easy feed to the post, and Cameron Brink has scored all five for Stanford. Shot from Maxwell is off. Cameron Brink with another rebound. She's got three already. Arioffin into the paint. That'll be an offensive charge. Arioffin out of the ball game, replaced by Brooke Dimitri, a junior from Foothill Ranch, California. Kaylin Trong to her sister Kaylee. Maxwell from the elbow. Jump shot good. 5-4. Gonzaga claws back. And we know Brenna Maxwell is an excellent three-point shooter, but what I've really enjoyed this year is that little mid-range pull-up. We're seeing a little bit more of that from her this year. Buscana, another miss. Here's the skip to the corner. Maxwell, quick three on the way. Bingo! Gonzaga with her first lead, 7-5. And you got to remember, Maxwell is used to competing against Stanford, the Utah transfer. This is something that she's very familiar with. And right now, the Cardinal know that they're in for a battle here this afternoon. Dimitri. Great cut by jump on the baseline. Little runner goes. We're tied at seven. Quick trigger. Three on the way. Each him. Offensive rebound and put back. 9-7 Gonzaga. Great job by Yvonne neutralizing the length of Cameron Brink on that putback. You can see she used a little hook there to get over. Brink, that passed too far. Trying to calm her team down. Basagna goes out, replaced by number 32, Janiah Harrell. Again, Maxwell. Oh, what a release. The quickest in college basketball. Maxwell with two threes, Gonzaga's largest lead. She is looking for her shot today. But like you said, Greg, that was so quick. She got her feet set, and it was off. Brink to the corner. And now Stanford will move it around. Dimitri's three is up. Boy, that shot brought rain. Brooke Dimitri. Big-time answer right there by Dimitri. And it's a one-possession game at 12-10. Egypt. Kaylee at the free throw line, steps in, missed it, tip back, oh. each him. How about that clever little play? What awareness, recognizing Yvonne was right there and just gave her the little tip. And Brink tried to get the seal, the pass was off the line. And five turnovers now, actually four turnovers against Stanford. Coach Fortier on how well her teams are coached and executed and they have come out looking really sharp so far. She said that this is as tough a challenge as they've had all year. And we'll talk about Stanford's schedule here in a moment. Egypt from the mid-range. Gonzaga up by six. And, and this is exactly what Gonzaga wanted to do. It's not just a one person has to take over. Polo inside left hand. And Lepolo only averaging 3.6 3 points a game. She's really the distributor on this team. But I like it that she came out. The, there was plenty of room there in the paint. Great, strong, aggressive drive. Maxwell, Hybens the catch, fought through Iriopoulos and scored 18-12. Turning down the shot, Harrell will drive, left hand won't go. Ejim had it, 
Zags all over the floor. Back comes Gonzaga. Maxwell, quick trigger, mid range, short. Hybens runs down the loose rebound and dumps it in. She's got four. Callie Stokes, number 10 on the floor for Gonzaga. I mean, that's, those are some big, strong, powerful women down there battling it out. Yeah, Gonzaga has options to defend that post. Hollingsworth in there with Hybens. Here's Brink. Caught the ball, creates space, scores, and a chance for three. One triple-double. And nine times in her career, she's been the player of the week. Quite a start here this afternoon between number three, Stanford, and Gonzaga. Prongs jump shot. The three is good. Gonzaga already has seven more shots than make that six more shots than Stanford. Brenna Maxwell. Got to watch her. She'll pull the trigger. Each of them can't quite get to that pass. Back to back possessions with turnovers for Gonzaga. Gives Buzgana and Stanford another chance, but there's Little with another block. Well, you got to love Esther Little's energy defensively here she's blocked two blocks she may not come in and put a lot of points on the board for gonzaga but her length is so important defensively 10 on the shot clock 35 to play high low hollingsworth with the catch but not a good finish back comes stanford down by six this is clardy trying to get the ball to the post Brink wanting it, Egypt fronting the post right now. And just look at Gonzaga, how intent they are with that post down low. And if you've got Clardy and other Stanford Cardinal knocking down those outside shots, that's going to open up the paint for those bigs down low. And Clardy came into this game just one of 12 this season from downtown. That's her second make. Little contact there by Clardy. A strong looks at the official, and that's how the first quarter. So I think this break will be good. I think they'll settle back into it and kind of get back to their pace and not so much that rush pace. Yvonne Ejim already with eight points. So does Brenna Maxwell. Maxwell to the post. Skip out. Hollingsworth the drive all the way to the rim. And drops it through. Hollingsworth with her first field goal. So we talked about how Erie often compliments Brink. Well, Hollingsworth and Ejim have played together for a really long time. And they really compliment. I like Eliza. She can do a little bit of everything. She can shoot outside. She can drive it. Um, pretty patient out there and just takes what's given to her. Clardy. Zags are leaving her open from behind the three. She buried one a moment ago. The polo bounce. Here's Iriafin over Ejim. Shot long. Yvonne the rebound. Ejim with her fourth. And if you look at that rebound, you saw four white jerseys going up to one black jersey out there. So important. Another touch pass from Kaylee Trong to Hollingsworth. Got her own miss. And in the air, the little touch creates the foul and free throws. That's beautiful. <laughs> Watch her. Here. Just ISO her. A couple times she's stuck in there. And Kaylee's got to give it up. She knows yeah. that Cameron Brink is right there with 327 career blocks coming in. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking at the fourth leader fourth in the nation at block shots per game at 3.8 eliza hollingsworth now with three points one rebound one assist graduate player from melbourne australia elena buscana to the post catch by dimitri turn around soft touch pays off keep in mind this is a stanford team already with victories against mm -hmm. number nine indiana number 13 florida state but more impressive was the way they won those games oh yeah 96 64 against indiana 100 to 75 mm -hmm. against the seminoles and Tron. against florida state they had 31 assists on 37 makes so their ability to share the ball is phenomenal cameron brink wanted a foul maxwell the three Knock to the floor, no whistle. Brink, another rebound. Hannah jump to the post. Aguera back to Cameron Brink. Hollingsworth out there. And now Lapolo will reset it for the Cardinal. Brink spins and drives from that high post. So both Hyvins and Hollingsworth with two personals for Gonzaga. Yeah, and we talked about the height advantage. That's that's going to be tough because 
Hollingsworth and Mo- Yeah, just oh, one on Hollingsworth. Okay, okay, all right, yeah. But we just talked about the the height advantage, and when you've got your two tallest players picking up those fouls, you got to be really careful because you need you need them out there on the floor. Maxwell, the tip, Caitlin Tron. Oh, oh, what a feed! Yvonne Jim running the floor in the lane. Did you see Yvonne's face? Yes. Running the floor. But the vision to make that pass, E. Jim was not necessarily open to the last moment. And you hear the crowd's displeasure with the foul call at the other end. But E. Jim now with 10. Look at this. This pass led. She knew where E. Jim was going to be. She didn't pass to E. Jim. She passed to the space where E. Jim was going to be. And talk about making it easy. E. Jim didn't have to dribble the ball. It was right in rhythm. Go right up. Coach Fortier not happy with that call on Eliza Hollingsworth. That is her second foul now as Clardy fires another three. Off loose ball. Battle won by Aguera. Another chance for Stanford. And Hannah Jump makes him pay. And that is Hannah Jump and a hand bucket right there. Yeah, you can't let her get going. She shoots about 40% behind the three-point line. And when she gets going, so does the Cardinal. Brenna Maxwell now with 10. And a quick bucket. Freshman Naya Ojuku on the floor right now for GU. Maxwell runs down the loose ball. She'll fire a three. Bingo! Brenda Maxwell, her third. And she leads all scores here this afternoon. Maxwell now three of six from behind that three-point line. We have two of the best three-point shooters in the entire country in this game. Ogden, the drive, and the kiss off the glass. 36-31, deflection, great catch, but then the turnover. Great job by Ojuku to get back, but threw it right to a Cardinal. Turnover number three for GU. Egypt tied her up. It'll be Gonzaga basketball when we come back. Zags up by five with the ball. Here's Yvonne Ejim leading all. Actually, not leading all. She's got 10. Brenna Maxwell leading all scores with 13. Here's Stokes trying to get it low. Maxwell the catch. Or I'm sorry, Yvonne Ejim. These are first of the day. Listed at 5'11". She's got a big task. This has just been everything that you could want. Another turnover. Number nine. Kaylin, Kaylee, sacks up by nine. And a foul call. So again, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Up, jump will inbound it. Erie off in the catch. Ogden, the three. Bingo. Kaylin Trung also out of the game. Ejim, what a catch. Trying to throw it up there. A wild shot. Erie off and will lead the break for Stanford. The polo, Dimitri three way off. Iriafin up high for the rebound, put back. Will go. Kiki Iriafin. Kaylee Tron kept Lapolo on her hip, but missed the shot. Outlet. Ogden will try to cut into this four-point Gonzaga advantage. Dimitri ball kicked. And a jump again to inbound it for Stanford. Lapolo with the basketball. Under two to play in this opening half. Number three, Stanford Gonzaga. Ogden to the post. Iriafin the catch. Maxwell trying to tie her up. Iriafin ripped it away, got a shot away, tipped out. Jump will run it down. Another chance for Stanford. But look at the attention Iriafin uh, draws. There was three white jerseys around her. In and out. Another three by Courtney Ogden. Ogden making big threes for the Cardinal right now. It's a one-point game. Kaylee Trong, Egypt trying to fight through Dimitri. Here's Stokes. We'll give it up to Brenda Maxwell. Hand right in her face. 12 on the clock. Maxwell the drive and a chance for three. Brenda Maxwell. You gotta love it. Look at the energy. Look at the enthusiasm, intensity on her face after she finishes this play. And look, I don't watch as many women's Gonzaga games as you do, but we don't see Brenna Maxwell do that enough. 
We know her as a three-point yes. shooter. Yeah. She's got to go to the rim. She's got to keep the defense honest. And yes. You see that right there. Yeah, yeah. And I love that she went to the rim looking to finish and not just drawing the foul, right? 43-39. One minute to play in the opening half. Here's Hannah Jump, Ariafin at the high post. Here's Octon again looking to shoot the three. That one's long. Egypt fouled over the back by Ariafin, and that is her second personal foul. Egypt at the line. Two of two, now three of three. Oh, no, excuse me. I thought that that was Ariafin. You got two fouls on Ariafin. I thought there was two on Brink as well, but you kept them out of the game. You've got them thinking a little bit now. Ogden again turned down the three this time and hits the little mid-range jump. Ejim now will try to get open. Yvonne with the ball turns on Dimitri. Got inside, shot away is short. Good defense there by Stanford. Harold oh. got all the way inside. Wild shot won't go out of play fooled on that little fake. She had a wide open look. And that shot did not get off in time. Kiki Erie often with two fouls is going to have to have a big second half for And Stanford. if you're Gonzaga, you can't let down, right? Yeah. Because the Cardinal could rally around each other because of this and come out even more fired up. First shot of this half missed by Kaylin Trong. And a foul called. Is that on Hollingsworth? It is yeah. on Hollingsworth, and that is her third personal foul. Just underway in this third quarter, so Eliza Hollingsworth picks up her third. Elena Basagna, or Boscana, I'm sorry, will try to get it inbound, and then there's the turnover. The attempt against Stanford, and the defense by jump, tying up Kaylee Trong, and possession favors Stanford. Courtney Ogden has checked in. Here's Hannah Jump. Quick trigger for the three is long. Maxwell up high. She's fouled by Erie Oppen. And that equally a big foul yes. against Stanford. That's her third. And there's Cameron Brink. She's on the end of the bench, yeah. but in her warm-up. This is still a fairly young team, especially when you take Brink out of the mix. Hollingsworth. Against Dimitri, missed it, trying to get it back. Egypt with it. Here's Maxwell from eight feet. Brenna Maxwell, two more. She's got eight feet. Very often calling for the ball. What a catch, what a pass. Can't finish. Egypt there to battle her. Oh, Hollingsworth almost picked up her fourth. And Hannah jump with the left hand on the baseline, throws it yeah. in. Did you see that? Oh, man, she's tough. You cannot. That's the one person I would say on the floor right now you do not want to get going. You got Erie off and jump. You got to stay focused on them. But if you're going to guard jump, give her the two. Zags up by six. You shocked that Hollingsworth is still in there with three? I, a little bit, but you got to recognize this is a more experienced team. These are seniors. These are fifth-year players out there. And 48, Coach 48 showing that she trusts Hollingsworth out there not to pick up that next. Here's Egypt. Oh, Ogden trying to tie her up. Deflection. Yeah. Great play. Lapolo with it for Stanford. And really that started with Dimitri's great footwork defensively stopping Egypt. And Hannah jumps. As a coach, right? But it goes back to, I think, that Their court. Their youth, right? Yeah, yeah, that court experience. So you're looking at Ogden, a freshman. Aguera out there for the freshman. Stokes with a power move. But Aguera. You just can't. You've got to hustle back. You cannot forget your assignment defensively after a great offensive play. Kaylin Trong, left hand. All touch. And she gets better real quick, and we'll just see how this game unfolds. And, boy, that's a breakdown there. Aguera. That Gonzaga can't let down because Cameron Brink no. isn't in the game and right. think that they can win now. Yeah. They have to go out and earn this victory still. Yeah. Because Stanford's going to try to win it. Yeah. They might be young out there. I said, like I said earlier, Ogden out there, Clark, and Aguera, all freshmen. Caitlin Trung. Look, nobody was really moving, nowhere to go with the ball. She took a little slight step back and then buried it from 25. Clarty the drive. Offensive foul call. And it was Stokes who stood in there and took it in the chest. Watch this little step back. Like, well, well, it's one of those things. The hands down, too. Yes. Defense and hands down. And if you're a Trong and you see that, you're like, hot dog. I'm hot shooting dog. that. <laughs> Here's Hybins. 
Aguera there defensively skipped to Maxwell. 12 foot jump shot rattles in. Anna, or Brenna Maxwell now with 20. Very often at Hybens. And she pins the foul on Maude Hybens, who looks at the official like, what can I do? I no. went straight up. That is a force. And she's 20 to 27 coming in. So athletic. She's got a great face up game. I really like that as part of her game as well. And like I said earlier in the broadcast, she does a really great job of establishing getting her position down low early and then continuing to work, move her feet, and get those looks. Very often, though, with just oh. five points, and Kiki called for the personal foul. And that is four on Kiki Iriaka. Look at this. But this is a good call. Watch Kiki get yep. up under her. Yep. Kind of moved yep. her hips and got yep. up under yep. Yvonne. And now Stanford's in real trouble with Cameron Brink out of the game. Kiki Iriaka with four fouls. And Yvonne Ejim with 17 points. And right now beginning to dominate the game inside. And you can feel the energy in this building. The student section up on their feet. Offensive foul on Lapolo. Kaylin Trong. Hyben battling for the rebound. Saved by Egypt. Got it to Little somehow. And another chance for the Zags. Under three to play in the third. Hyben. Egypt. High low. Catch and finish. Without Erie off and without Brink, Stanford not going to be able to match up well inside. Here's a Guerra kick out. Ogden, Stanford needs a three, and there it is. Freshman from Atlanta from downtown. And that is the third big three by Ogden that she has made today here. She has really had some timely threes. Maxwell. Bruna Maxwell with 23 points, four of seven. Gonzaga now up by 13. Aguera going to work. Beat Egypt. And Aguera with six. And that quiets the crowd for the moment. Little left wide open drives. Got it to Hybens. Tough catch. But the finish goes. Hybens with six. Aguera and Maxwell, a collision at the other end. Callie Stokes back in there for GU as well. Brenna Maxwell. Nagara's done a nice job. Here's Little. Yes, they're not interested in shooting the three. Here's Ejim. Eight on the shot clock. Hollingsworth will load up and bury the three. Here's Ogden. Again, the launch off Ejim with their 11th rebound. E Yvonne Ejim with another double-double. And let's talk about Eliza sitting on the bench with those fouls for quite a little while. Comes out and hits the three. It should be no surprise. She shoots 35% behind the line there. This has been fun. Gonzaga has had all their players pretty much playing within their role. And, you know, we've had players like Esther Little out there. Oh, my. You can't let that happen. And just to finish that, like Esther Little, she's not going to blow up stats-wise, but defensively, she has been so big for this team. Ogden into the corner. Lapolo oh. got all the way in. Hollingsworth blocked the shot, grabbed the rebound. Gonzaga will play for one. Up by 17 with the ball. Hollingsworth, another three. Bang! Eliza Hollingsworth! Here's Hannah Jump, didn't get it off in time. Gonzaga leading number three. To their credit, they've shot the ball well, 54.8% yes, yeah. without Cameron Brink. But they're down by 20. Well, off of those 15 points, Gonzaga's turned that into 19, just compared to five turnovers for Gonzaga and four points off of those for Stanford. It's the difference in the game. Yeah. Here's Little. That's off Stokes' hand. Gonzaga with their sixth turnover. Guys, I had my head in the huddle a little bit, and if you know anything about head coach Fortier, she's going to start talking about defense before anything else. That's, she'll go to any length to get the story. Your players can get downhill. Start making and creating. No look pass. Hollingsworth can't finish. 
and it should be pointed out in the third quarter Gonzaga had the lead but when Kiki Iriafa yes. picked up her fourth personal foul, Gonzaga really extended that lead. She's back in there yeah. with her four fouls now. And right up. Two time Gatorade Arkansas Player of the Year. Brenna Maxwell. Play for the legend. Yeah. Coached against the legend. I don't, you know, what Coach Fortier and, and her staff have yep. done. Now over her tenure as the head coach, like she's also starting to creep in on the college basketball circuit. But Coach Fortier is now starting to really stack up the victories and create her own legacy. Has a lot of respect yeah. for this Gonzaga program and what yes. Lisa Fortier and her staff have done. Um, she knows that if we don't come in here and play well, we can lose. Gonzaga beat him in 2018. Well, it's like you said uh, earlier. Coach Vanderveer said, you know, this is a well-oiled machine. She talked about, she just continually praised Coach Fortier. For my money, the best program, certainly this side of the Mississippi, and when Hollingsworth has her fourth, she goes to the bench. Gary Offen, one of two from the line. Now four of six from the free throw line. Kaylin Trong with it, 79-64. Here's our score, 725 to play. Brenna Maxwell. Lardy's got to keep an eye. Brenna doesn't need much space. I told you. From the free throw she line. She is her. finding her spots. Yeah. I mean, she, watch her eyes. She is watching where her feet are when she's coming off screens, and she is looking for it. Whatever the defense is giving. And a jump, as you might expect, a good free throw shooter. She's mm -hmm. just five free throws on the season coming in. One or two here. Yeah, she's your shooter, right? She's not going to go in and draw a lot of contact and get herself to the line. Kaylee to Kaylin. Home run ball. Hybens the catch. Left hand goes. That was special. Jump. Missed the runner. Gonzaga running. Kaylin. Maxwell three. Clardy the rebound. She'll run. Clardy down the lane. Tied up but foul by Kaylin Draw. Gonzaga has him on the ropes. 6.38 to go. Zaga shooting 53% for the game. They've turned Stanford over 15 times. They've taken it to the Stanford Cardinal today. Kaylin Trunks, three is off. Clardy, uh-oh, oh. is that Maxwell on the floor holding her right ankle? Yeah. Dimitri, here's Clardy. This is where you guys scramble defensively. Nice job by E. Jim. And now yeah, Gonzaga Brennan's needs a timeout. Well, yeah, you got Brenna Maxwell now with an ankle. Liza Hollingsworth, four fouls. Egypt, the drive left hand, 21 points. I mean, look at this game. Look at how tough this game is. Yvonne is playing with a tissue in her nose. <laughs> and she just blocked Yuri off and shot. And Zach's got to the loose ball. Caitlin Trong in transition. Skip. Stokes, wide open three. Well long. She put enough energy into it. And now Lapolo. Hannah Jump, catch and shoot. Bingo. Hannah Jump is too sharp of a shooter. Stanford won't give up. No. They're down by 17. Ejim at the high post. Well, drive on Erie off and oh. left it. Hybens. At the end of the day, this might just be another close game. They've already had a few on their schedule, but a lot of times when it comes to March, the Zags and the Cardinal are paired up together, and if it's not them, it's going to be someone like them, so it's always good. Dimitri, a 30% shooter from downtown. Wasted no time in getting that shot off, and now Gonzaga trying to take some time off the clock. Eight on the shot clock. Hybens the three. Oh, oh. They're all going for Gonzaga today. Hey, she will put it up. Mott now is five for seven on the season, so don't count her out. She wants a little piece of that three-point action. She just took it. 4.6 points a game, 5.3 rebounds. Fans behind that hoop. A lot of students here. Four on the shot clock. Deep three on the way. Off from Kaylee Stokes. 
over Lapolo with the rebound. Stokes, I love her effort and her energy. She goes out there, she'll battle, she'll bang. She's got great strength. Kaylin, corner. Stokes from 15. Rimmed out. Put back goes. And just finishing around the rim. Brenna Maxwell out of the locker room. <laughs> She'll be checking back in. <laughs> hey, and give Eliza Hollingsworth, let's look at here, three for seven, two for three behind the three-point line. The tag has a chance for 100. Are you kidding? Well, not the first time they've scored 100 this, this year. 102 points. Little different scenario, right? 94-72, Aguera, quick burst wow. and finish. Great explosiveness. And what was considered Gonzaga's biggest victory a year ago was mm -hmm. against number six, Louisville. Mm -hmm. This would be the largest victory in program history. A win today against number three, Stanford offensive foul called there on Stokes. What do you think about that, Bert? Awesome. Yeah, it's crazy. This has been awesome. The atmosphere. Both teams competing. Um, obviously not the showing the Cardinal wanted to show, but Coach Vandeveer will take this as a learning experience. And like you said, continue to improve. Big rebound by Aguera, but under a minute to go. Her putback goes. It's 94-76. And if you're Gonzaga, you take this also as a learning experience as to what you can do when you put it all together as a team. Now the fans are going to give them their due, and we will too. Under 30 to play. Egypt, the finish. The fans. Giving them all the respect they're due. Clardy the finish at the other end, 15.1 to go. Hybens with the basketball, under 10 to go. Brenna Maxwell with it, 27 points. Gonzaga with the largest victory in program history. They just took down number three, Stanford.